Frogbirds have been making games about the adventures of Sherlock Holmes for over a decade now, and while a lot of their previous attempts were rough, most of them were pretty good games to check if you were a fan of Sherlock Holmes or detective fiction adventures. With Crimes and Punishments, they were clearly aiming to outdo everything they have done up until then. And they did. It's been long argued by people, myself included, that to make a good game about Sherlock Holmes, player must play as Watson. Yet despite all odds, Frogwares managed to find the right balance between keeping the personality and genius of Holmes intact, while still making a good adventure games with player choice and agency. You as a player find things for Holmes as a character to analyze, so you, the player, are left with clear choices on which you can then base the conclusions. If you make Holmes come to a wrong conclusion, there's still a lot of facts backing it up, so it never breaks his character. Game is also smart to break itself into several smaller cases, some based on books almost verbatim. So it never gets boring and you always have something new to look forward to. And all the cases, while disconnected, are thematically tied by themes of social corruption and causes for people to go against the law. Which is enhanced by another new feature of moral choices at the end of each case. Both playing into the complexity of Holmes as a character, someone who tries to uphold the law, yet also who can sympathize with the cause. In general, the characters, the writing, the voice acting, the locations and the mood, the jokes, the puzzles, everything is almost consistently just amazing. Almost. But then, there are spots that feel as low budget as rough as previous entries. These elements are rare and then not that notable most of the time, but are too obvious due to the high quality of the most of the game. In fact, one of the most notable, or more like least notable, thing about the game is the surprisingly simple and forgettable music. It fits, it's normal, it's there, but with the game being such a high quality Sherlock Holmes tale, you expect a memorable soundtrack, which is sadly absent. Then again, the game is high quality and I almost had no big issues with it. There was a crash, and otherwise the most frustrating thing was Watson, who is no longer normally creepy, got me stuck in tiny rooms at times and just glitched out. And the overall good puzzles, minigames, which you can skip anyway, had several missteps in explanations, and a particular one repeats a bit too often at the very very end of the game. But I kept wanting to get back to the game every time I had to pause the session, and felt genuinely sad when it was over, even sadder when the next game in the series turned out to be terrible. Because Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments is the best game about Sherlock Holmes and one of the best adventure games of recent years, this is the case I highly recommend for everyone to solve.